Let's take a look at the new selection functions. As mentioned earlier, the new selection uh, toolbar is not displayed by default. To access it, you're going to go ahead and select the selection toolbar. And you'll see that the four items in the middle are not turned on by default. This is so we don't interfere with any settings you may already have set. The intent of these uh, icons in this toolbar is to quickly access the same settings that you find under system settings, but to get at them much faster. Again, the idea is that they were going to work very much like the position snap. We can quickly go ahead and toggle how you want the uh, selection behavior to work. Let's go ahead and start with the profile. This is the new profile selection. It's intended to be used for pre-selection. So it's on and now you'll notice as I hover my cursor over different faces or edges, it automatically finds a closed planar profiles. This will also work on wireframe. The idea here is that I can quickly select with one selection an entire closed profile, go to a function like extrude, and quickly do an extrude. Again, any of the chain options you currently have set are not affected with these options. Let's turn that off. and Let's go take a look at the chain filter. The chain filter is used to select open profiles. The way this works is the, the, where you hover the cursor determines the first entity to be in that chain and also the direction. Notice what end I'm near. If I come over to this side, I'm selecting that entity as the beginning of my chain in the direction that it's going to go. Move it to this side and the selection process goes the other way. This will also work on closed profiles just because that meet the um, requirements of an open profile as well. Another option that we have is called the foreground selection. Let's take a look at a file that's better suited to illustrate this. So with the foreground not being turned on, when I hover, move my cursor over, say, this face here, I can use the space bar to toggle through everything that's underneath the cursor. That's including the faces behind that face and the solid itself. This also applies to uh, any edges. Let's go ahead now and turn that off. Or I should say turn it on. So now when I go back to that option, I hit the space bar, and you'll notice that I'm only selecting the face that's visible in this view in the solid. If I come down to this view, again, only picking the face that's available, and you'll notice also that I can no longer select the edges that are behind. This will also work in wireframe. The other benefit of having the foreground option is that we've improved it so it works with window selection. So if I window select, let's go ahead and do a function here of unstitch. We're going to unhook some faces. And I'm going to window select those faces. Notice that only the faces that are visible in the, that particular view in the front of that particular view are selected. This allows you to quickly do a core and cavity or at least get you started in the selection of core and cavity geometry.